believe what happened when I put on the jersey my grandfather left me. I put on jersey and poof, jumped into the pro game. Hey, I'm your cousin. It's my turn. The jersey put me in the game, and I was a superstar. You were the MVP? I had power. I loved it. It's like the jersey has a mind of its own. Would I disappear to another dimension? It's time for an entry in my compendium of jersey phenomena. We rock. Awesome. It was amazing. Together we can do anything. Team work, yeah! Coliseum, awesome! What are you so chipper about? I'm getting crushed. Marshall Folk! You're Marshall Folk! Three Pro Bowls, four 1,000 yard rushing seasons? You're like the best running back in the league! And Adam Timmerman! I am. Kurt Warner, I know. Now you're gonna quit fooling around and call a play? A play? A play, right. Cooler than being Brett Favre. Last year's Super Bowl champ. <sighs> was here yesterday. I don't trust that thing. Never did. That jersey does whatever it wants. Did you guys find it? Hmm. It wasn't in the attic and it wasn't in the garage. Weird. Where'd you get all the equipment? My dad was gonna plant a garden last year. He got as far as buying the tools. Perfect for us. We'll just make that vacant line to a thing of beauty. I've got garbage bags, and I happen to know a thing or two about drainage. So, you got the plans? Keep your distance. No fingerprints. It's a combination. Football, baseball, soccer, frisbee, kickback, field. I'm in awe of the genius that is slaw. Thank you. Where's Morgan? She was just here. It adds up. The jersey... Gone. Morgan, gone. She jumped. Hey, if she doesn't want to help, we'll just start without her. And when we finish cleaning, we'll keep the whole park to ourselves. Exactly. Go. Did you see the pass? You see I guess I missed it. I was on my back blocking for you. I was awesome. No self-esteem issues here, huh, buddy? Did you see the pass? No, but I heard about it from you. Oh, like I did nothing? Hey, Hunt, how can four people use this much water? Well, we could ask Nick to stop showering. Hmm. No, I think we'll uh, cut back somewhere else. <laughs> Hello, dear parents. You're looking radiant today. Sorry, Banco de Lighter is closed. No dinero. Daddy, I don't want any money. I'm just saying hi. Cold drinks coming right up. Mom, I know how much you like that new root beer. Cut to the chase. What do you want? Willow wants to take me to this great new coffee house. Uh, decaf. That's it. No coffee until you're 18. Dad. I already drink coffee. You do? <laughs> you can go. But I'll drive the there shift and have Willa's mom drive home. Well, actually, you don't have to drive either way. See, Willa wants to take me. She has a car. Oh. <laughs> That's very funny. Mm. I'm serious. <laughs> Daddy, tell her it's okay. Don't look here. I'm still bent out of shape over the coffee. 
I don't like the idea of you in a car with a new driver. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to take you anywhere you want to go. Hello? Not done. I'd rather walk than be seen having Mommy drive me. Well, then I'll take you. <laughs> seemed a whole lot easier on the planning stage. It's because there's only three of us here. Morgan said she'd be here, right? Well, let me tell you, it was tough out there. But I focused, bore down, and rose to the occasion. Well, you know, the blocking was good and everything. It was just one of those days where everything I did was just right. Hey, Kurt. Whoa! Kurt, are you okay? Yeah, I think. You know, people always give the credit to the quarterback for making great plays. But these are the guys that deserve the real credit. Without them, I'd spend more time on a stretcher than on the football field. That's more like it. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I was Kurt Warner. I was passing, I was connecting, <laughs> I was awesome. And I was sweeping leaves, and I was picking up trash. I was amazing. I know I said I'd be here, but what's the point of having the jersey if you can't have 50,000 people cheering for you every now and then? Yeah, I know that feeling. Now get to work, maybe you'll have three people cheering. <laughs> Galloway's blast the cola can. I right, moves left, fence right, oh, and shoots. It's good. You turn to be backward. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the substitution has been made. Ripkin is off the bench and on in the wood. Oh. Hey guys, what's what's going on here? I smelled soda on myself. At least, I hope it was soda. You know, I mean, what's going on here in the lot? Public parks are so crowded. We're cleaning this dump so we can have a place to play football and stuff. A place of our own. The air is clear and the grass is poopless. And you don't get beamed in the head by a stray frisbee. <laughs> Listen, I work for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Human Interest. You guys mind if I take a couple of pictures of you while you work? Of us? Go for it. All right. <laughs> Why don't you guys go back to doing what you were doing so that you'll look natural? Oh. I think we're about to be famous. Good morning, my little humanitarian. I had no idea you were so busy saving the planet. Morning. Morning. Looky, looky. Hey, my picture's in the paper. Yeah. Get it. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? She's right there on the front page. Okay, it's the metro section, but how cool. I am really proud of her. To take on a project like this by herself? Uh, well, actually, Mom, Nick and the guys, what's that kind? I was just about to get on her for her progress report. And now this? Kids will surprise you. Every now and then, you catch them doing something good. Yeah, not my kids, mind you. Is there any story or any pictures of us cleaning the park? Us? Yeah, we were all there. Yeah, right. Like you'd ever do anything for a good cause. You're practically more selfish than me. This is from today's Post-Dispatch. As you'll see, a picture of our Ms. Hudson graces the front page. Local girl makes difference. Now, how many of you can claim that you've made a difference in the last week? I don't know that I can. You've made a difference to me, Ms. Swift. Well, thank you, Mr. Rifkin. But please, raise your hand if you have something to say. So, Ms. Hudson, why don't you tell us how you got the idea to clean the park? Well, um, it was dirty. 
And we thought... We thought that if we cleaned it... Rifkin, we've been through this. Go on. If it was clean, we would just have another place to play. That's wonderful. The other parks are so crowded. We just wanted a place where the air was clear, the grass was poopless, you didn't get beamed in the head by a stray frisbee. <laughs> So, we could walk to the taco place or drive to the coffee house for lunch. I don't know. My dad wasn't really okay with it. It's things. okay. Whatever. You don't have to prove anything to me. Well, my dad wasn't exactly against it. Are you sure? Absolutely. This definitely beats driving the lighter family wagon. Hey, you have your learner's permit? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Yeah. Wait a second. My mom didn't want me going around with a new driver, but she didn't say anything about me driving. No, no, no. Forget I brought it up. I'm a great driver. Even my mom says so. Please, I'll be your best friend. If you promise never to say anything that corny to me again, I'll let you drive. Promise. <laughs> Great. I'm great. You'll see. You couldn't be any more upset with me than I am with myself. Wanna bet? What a nice shiny badge you have. We were so out of line the last time. What are you talking about? She asked me questions and I answered them. Everyone at school is talking about you. <laughs> How cool is that? You didn't even mention we were there. Yeah, and it was our idea. Every time I tried to mention you guys, nobody would listen. That's not my fault. It's your fault that you didn't try harder. Is that where you guys were cleaning the lot? Just to get your picture in the paper? No. And you weren't even cleaning. You guys, get over it. Nice attitude. You're gonna be a selfish brat. No fumble, no foul. The Jersey will be right back. Part of Extra Helpings Weekends. Tonight on Disney. When it comes to science, there's no problem 13-year-old Charlie Boyle can't solve. You're a physics genius. But there are certain other things even a genius can't figure out. And for that, Charlie's about to discover a whole new side to himself. Yo, who's Chaz? He's the bomb. It's an experiment so big to pull it off, it's going to take a genius. It's a Disney Channel original movie, Genius. Tonight at 945, 845 Central, right after Johnny Tsunami, part of Extra Helpings Weekends. These girls had the perfect plan for Christmas. The weather machine is missing. Until it snowballed out of control. The Los Angeles area is experiencing snow. This Friday. The important thing right now is to stop this storm. Disney unwraps the ultimate Christmas present. This is so out of control. A Disney Channel original movie. Send in the elves. Elves. Do you have a problem with that? The ultimate Christmas present. This Friday at 7, 6 Central, Inside Zoo Weekends. All right, try it again, all right? You're not getting it. One more time now. Try it. I dig it. No, no, absolutely not. You've got to feel the words, love. You have to actually be digging it, all right? You can't just say it. Here, watch me. Watch, watch. I dig it. There you see. I dig it. All right, I can't. Look at me now, all right? Look at me. Think music. Think rock star. Think me, basically. Focus. Focus! Dig now. I dig it. Yeah, you see, inside you the whole time. Welcome to the cool, babe. Share the laughs. Share the moments. And feel the joy. Now you can, twice a day, every day on Disney. Or we agreed that we were going to go out and meet new people. Boy Meets World is on seven days a week, right here on Disney. Have a great day. Make a new friend. See Jack and Eric. Wait a second, I know what's going on. And Sean, Corey, and Topanga. What else is there? Watch Boy Meets World every day at 4.33.30 Central and 6.35.30 Central, only on Disney.
You've scored! We now return to the Jersey, part of Extra Helping's Weekend. We did most of the work before Morgan even showed up. Is my picture in the paper? No! I did everything by myself. <sighs> Take my picture. I'm the prettiest person in the world. Oh, hi, honey. How was school? Um, it was okay. Um, Daddy? Yeah. Mommy, this is Officer Martin. Uh, he's a little old for you, Hill, isn't he? Would you please go away? Not for a million dollars. <laughs> Hello. Officer Martin Larry Leiter, uh, what's this all about? Hey, I think this is my cue to exit. on the porch. Thinking about it? Yeah. Ooh, that's bad. Go away. You're not helping. What do you think they'll do to me? Who knows? Even with all my goof-ups, I've never had to do time. Oh. You guys thirsty from all that talking? I'll get you a... Freeze. What were you thinking? Were we unclear when we said, don't get in the car with Willa? Well, that's not exactly what you said. Apparently, it doesn't matter what we say. Isn't it ironic? Little Miss Perfect here gets hauled home by the cops, and her handsome younger brother gets a C-plus on his history test. Out. You are in such big trouble, Red. That's just what I was thinking. Tell me I'm a genius. You're a genius. I have the perfect plan to get Morgan back, and I've already put it into action. Front page of the school newspaper, I got them to do a full story on Morgan Hudson the do-gooder, including a photograph. Oh, Nick, that's evil. This is the picture. Oh, oh, yeah, that is evil. Nick, is this really her? From her old school. She was sick that week. She had chicken pox and acne. Nick? This is deliciously malevolent. <sighs> Two months? Two months? A couple of weeks without TV. No phone, maybe? Oh, they are being totally unreasonable. But that's what I said. And stupid? Oof, and conceited. Okay. I don't get how my parents are conceited. Your parents? Nick! Aren't you listening to me? Mom! You're home. Hi. Uh, I started dinner. Oh, and I had an idea. How about, and stay with me on this, two weeks of no phone and trade for each week of grounding? Hmm. How about... Mom! <laughs> Mom, but it's... <laughs> Is it... Good try. I think she's wearing down. What did you do to me? It's pretty funny, huh? No. You wanted your moment in the sun, now you got two. That is so low, Nick. None of this is even my fault. Oh, and it's certainly not my fault. Uh, excuse me? You were wrong to be mad at me for getting my picture in the paper. You were wrong to blame me for taking credit with the family. And you were so wrong to embarrass me in front of the entire school. Oh, and you were perfect. Innocent little hamster. Yes. Mm. No. <sighs> okay. I was wrong about one thing. In class, I took credit for all that you guys did. But it was nice being a star. Plus, I was getting a D. Now that's something I can relate to. <laughs> that picture was so bad. Pretty funny, huh? Yeah, you can definitely tell I'm related to you. Hey. 
Morgan! Hey, how's it going? Hooray! We got such a great response from your picture. Have you seen the new one? Never mind. My paper wants to do a follow-up story. You got a few minutes? Really? Wait a second. That would be perfect. Listen, could you meet me at the park? Sure. Just let me go and get a hold of a reporter, and then we'll take some new shots. Great. Give me about an hour. Okay. Elliot Wood, Elliot Wood, get on. Yes, you guys. You have to come to the park with me right now. Shouldn't you be mad at Nick? We're gonna Nick already apologized. apologized. Whatever. The newspaper is doing another story, and they want all of us at the park. Story on all of us? Cool. We're doing where? A photo op? I gotta change. We'll meet you there. Is this for real? Uh-huh. Hey, I can share the spotlight. Okay, my last offer. Two weeks of dinner dishes, no phone, and no TV. In trade for each week of grounding. Hillary. Mom! I'll die if I'm locked in the house for two months. I need air. I need sunshine. Hell, Dad's the pushover, not Mom. Oh, <laughs> Mom, uh, I'm going to the park with the guys and Morgan. Don't be late. We won't be late. <laughs> All right, Hillary, if you want to go outside, fine. But I'm going to send you someplace where you can't get into trouble. Maybe you'll do some good. <laughs> Good job, Hill. Wow, Nick, this place looks amazing. What happened? You know, Hillary does complain a lot, but she's a pretty good little worker, right, Hill? Okay, you guys, let's all get back to work, because maybe they have a hidden camera or something that can catch us in action. Good idea. Oh, you guys, don't look now, but they're here. Oh. How's my hair? Perfect, how's my <clears throat> Hi. You the kids been working on this lot? Yes, sir. Well, actually, it was all these guys. Nick Leiter, L-I-G-H-T-E-R, Coleman Galloway, and Ellie Rifkin. R-A-F-K-I-N. They did all the work. These guys, they're the real story. Great. Well, I'm glad I found out who the real story is. Did you happen to get permission from anybody before you started this little project of yours? Permission? Uh, I... Who needs permission? It, it, it's a... it's a vacant lot. It's a posted vacant lot. And it's a construction site as of now. Officer, would you mind removing these children? You're gonna have to talk to our parents, right? Hey, what is going on here? They're trying to arrest us. All we wanted was a place of our own. You're always sticking it to the little guy, aren't you? How does it feel to be the oppressor? Hey, look what they're doing. They can't do that. Look what they're doing. I never once was arrested as a kid. Me neither. <clears throat> No comment. No fumble, no foul. The Jersey will be right back. Part of Extra Helpings Weekends. On the next Even Stevens. First, Lewis finds the Hanukkah present. What? Why did you throw the presents out the window? And then finds out what life would be like without them. Son! Ah! Happy Hanukkah from the Stevens family. Even Stevens, Friday at 53430 Central. Part of Zoo Weekends. Hey, surfers, the name of the movie is The Emperor's New Groove, and here's a sneak peek. Oh, yeah. In The Emperor's New Groove, the smart aleck emperor, Cusco, gets turned into a llama by the evil sorceress, Yzma, who wants to take over his kingdom. <laughs> Cusco, he's a spoiled uh, prince. Booyah! Welcome to Cusco-topia, my ultimate summer getaway. A complete with water slide. Unfortunately, kind of like this little problem child. Yeah, I'm never the good guy, so I'm getting used to that. Emperor Cusco desperately tries to regain his throne with the help of Pacha, played by John Goodman. He's strong, not necessarily the quickest witted guy in the world, but he's dependable, loyal, and um, he's a big, really big family man. Pacha has to save Cusco, 
He drags him out of the bottom of a lake. And pulls him up. He knows that he has to give the kiss of life to the llama. The Ooh. tongue flops out, which is kind of the last uh, thing you want to see. Well, the last time, it was not a kiss. He gets betrayed by uh, Cusco two or three times. In the right foot. Who's right? You're right or, or mine? I don't care. Mine. Well, why yours? OK, you're right. I somehow drift over the side of good. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfowl. Yep. Sharp rocks at the bottom? Most likely. Bring it on. Be sure to catch The Emperor's New Groove coming to theaters on December 15th. You're 14. You've just received a message from the farthest reaches of space. This message could change the world. Will anyone believe you? Xenon The Secret, coming soon to Disney Channel. The adventure continues. You've scored! We now return to the Jersey, part of Extra Helping's Weekend. This is going in my scrapbook. See? I look great. You guys, let me tell you how to handle fame. There are ups and there are downs. But if you keep your friends in the picture, it's always up. <laughs> on the Jersey. Find out what happens when Larry accidentally reproduces the Jersey 2,500 times. NFL Hall of Famer Eric Dickerson stars as the Jersey Marathon continues, part of Extra Helpings Weekends. Coming up next, these champs are tackling, training, and slam dunking. The Jersey Marathon continues, part of Extra Helpings Weekends. 